Hey guys, and welcome back to How to Make Elements from Household Materials. Today's element will be neon. Now, neon used to be used in these things called neon indicator lights, um, and I have one right here. So if you look inside of there, you see there's a little bulb with two tungsten electrodes in it, and um, there's neon gas inside of that little glass chamber. And now, that neon gas, when uh, electrical current is passed across it, it glows. And that was the indicator light. Nowadays, we use LEDs. But these can still be found in some applications. This particular one came off of an old oven that I got. That um, This was the indicator light to indicate that the oven was on. I'll n name off um, some other sources. Um, the easiest that you'll probably be able to get is old disposable cameras. So the disposable cameras are the ones where you take a couple of pictures and then it's done and you have to take in the film and just throw out the camera. Now, they do that for you at London Drugs. Now, what they do with all the disposable cameras is they simply throw them out. So they have a big bin in the back. And if you go up to them and ask politely if you could have their old disposable cameras, I'm sure they'll give them to you. That's where I got them. And some disposable cameras will actually have a neon indicator light if you take them apart. So um, try to talk to the people at London Drugs and tell them it's for a science experiment or something. You'll be much uh, more likely to get them if you tell them it's for a science experiment, I find. Anyhow, so, any old electronics such as power bars or ovens or anything will contain these neon indicator lights. So, um, anyhow, we're going to take this off and I'll show you the discharge of neon. And uh, that's basically how to get um, neon. It's quite a simple element to obtain. Anyhow, so I'll take this off and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so there's our sample of uh, neon there. And you can see I've just uh, put some hot glue around it here. Um, and then there's our little bulb at the top. And this is just to keep the two wires separate. So I currently have it in our uh, apparatus, which I, we built. Um, I, I don't think I've released the video yet. But um, this is how to make a periodic table, such as the one shown here. Um, as you can see. Oh, wrong way zooming. Um, anyhow, so yeah, this is the periodic table we built in a previous video a while ago. And uh, this was just one of the testing apparatuses. Now you can only test this at uh, 120 volts. Because if you go ahead and test this at, like, 15,000 with a neon sign transformer, it glows a brilliant red and it's really pretty and it lights up your whole room. And then after about two seconds, the whole thing blows to pieces because it's extremely hot and it just melts. Um, the glass just blows apart. So this can only be done at 120 volts and with a resistor. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but I did glue a resistor. You can kind of see the resistor. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to go ahead, plug in the periodic table, and I will show you this once it is glowing in a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see there's the beautiful uh, discharge color of neon, a bright red. And um, so yeah, that's essentially how to get neon from yeah, almost any sort of old indicator light. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I guess I'll see you in the future. Okay, bye.